My name is uh, Marcus Holtin and I go by the alias uh, Kink and I'm here to, to show overclocking to, to people. Just to show extreme liquidation cool. Marcus Holtin, im Netz besser bekannt unter seinem alias Kink, ist einer der bekanntesten und erfolgreichsten Overclocker Europas. So wie andere Menschen immer Milch im Haus haben, lagert er in seiner Garage stets flüssigen Stickstoff bei unter minus 200 Grad Celsius. Auf der CB 2009 führte der Übertaktungsspezialist auf Einladung von Intel vor, wie man einen Core i7 Prozessor auf knapp 5 GHz treibt. This sample that we're using here, we can reach almost 5 GHz on a Core i7. And that's that's pretty nice. If you look at the overall as it is now in the world, there are very few high clocking Core i7. There are a few over 5 GHz, so a 5 GHz chip is a really good chip. And um, we are running the graphics cards at, uh, I think it's around 1000 MHz at the moment. We're running over 1 GHz on the GPU and the shader is doing almost 2.1K. The memory is the, is, is the key thing on 285. We can run it up to 1500 MHz times two, and so it's 3000 MHz GDDR3, which is really impressive. Uh, in entry, almost 70K, and in uh, the performance preset, we have uh, somewhere between 37 and 48, depending on how much we push the CPU, so around uh, 37.5K. In, in, in the performance preset, and high is 30k, and uh, extreme preset is uh, 22k. <laughs> It's just very, very fun to do something extreme and challenging. You always challenge yourself to push high scores. I mean, people would say to you, "There's, there's no point. 48k in performance preset in Vantage is what does it give you?" People like extreme stuff. But my biggest achievement, no doubt, I think, were with um, it must have been with the FX 55, FX 57, when I took the three world records at the same time, and I haven't hadn't done anything before, and I were really they were a part of my life there, but I, I only focused on overclocking on my free time, so I was very pleased when I managed to take three Freedom Mark records at the same night, and that was very very big for me. Um, the first step would actually be to, to probably just remove your motherboard out of the case, put it on the motherboard box and put a graphics card in and maybe open the window or something just to get a better room temperature and just try it out and test Freedom Mark and run it and see how the score improves and the performance you have. That, that's how I started and you get hooked on it and then you want to go to maybe water cooling and dry ice or phase change cooling and then you have liquid nitrogen which is very very it's no doubt the only thing that we use it because you can control the temperature however you want want and whenever you want so it's very very good <laughs> 